This video is proudly sponsored by Business Excel UK, supporting small and medium sized businesses and charities with business planning, strategy, and raising finance. I suppose, in some senses, it's fascinating to think that the mayoralty outdates me by quite a long way, because 54th mayor, there's been 54 years of mayors. <laughs> and, of course, I only arrived in this country some 18, 19 years ago, and what an amazing experience it has been. Of course, as the youngest ever mayor, I made the decision at the beginning of the year I wanted to focus my mayoral year about being youth and about our young people and I'm really excited about all of the opportunities I've had this year to shine a spotlight on our future leaders and future citizens. One of the most amazing experiences has been I spent five years as lead member for education and got into maybe a dozen schools. I've been into dozens and dozens of schools. I've had so many school children come here, trying on our robes, learning about the role as a citizen, about all of the things that we do as a borough, things that actually some of their parents may not have had any awareness of, the stories that then go back within their families. So that sense of being able to tap in again to our young people has just been so exciting. But then on the other side, you go to some of the experience where I've been to a couple of 100 birthdays and to some of our older residential homes and meeting people that have centuries of experience collectively and hearing their stories and hearing the history of our borough, things that predate me a long, long way. It's just extraordinary to think what an amazing and colourful history we have here. So that span has just been incredible. It would be easy to say that it's the, the children in the schools, and actually that is always going to be a highlight for me. Personally, even outside of the mayoralty, I just have a real passion for that. But I think for me, the single most amazing thing was to remember back in 2007 when I was sitting in the council chamber and the worshipful, the mayor of Barnet, councillor Eva Greenspan, was standing in front of me and I was in that position of thinking, this is amazing, I'm going to become a citizen, I'm going to get a certificate, I've got the pen, I've still got the pen at home. So when I sit up there and I look at the 40 or 50 faces in front of me thinking, I know just how special this is for you and for me to be able to not just enjoy it, but to be the first citizen in the borough with the robes, the chains, and to share that celebration, that enjoyment, it's just been an absolute thrill. Very much in keeping with my theme around youth and around education, I made the decision at the start of the year that I wanted to have two charities. Uh, there's one I was really, really eager about, Live Unlimited, and it was actually set up by the local authority. It still has trustees who are local authority uh, senior executives, and it really focuses a lot of work on providing modest grants for young people who've experienced living in the care of the local authority. In fact, I went to an exercise recently where we have a driving instructing company that's actually offering discounts to, to young people who've been in care so that they can get those opportunities that we want for all of our young people. And I really wanted to shine spotlight on their work, of course to raise the funds, but to me it's more important about getting that recognition about the work that some small startup charities actually do. There are some really obvious things. Having somebody to drive you somewhere and open the door for you, I mean, I tell you what, it is amazing, but I, I need to start getting used to the idea of opening my own door again, to be honest, because that really is wonderful. And I, I'm not going to miss the robe, to be honest with you. It's enormously helpful in the right context, in the council meetings. Actually, our members on all sides of the chamber, I find they're so much better behaved when you're wearing the robe but gosh, that thing is hot, and if, it was, if I was wearing it today, I'd be melting. But without a doubt, I think that the thing that I am going to miss most over this year is that wonderful reception that you get. When you're an elected member of council and you walk into a room, there are probably 90% of people who have no idea who you are or what you do, and 5% who are the party that voted for you, 5% of the party that voted for the other guy, so you've got most of them not knowing who you are, and the few that do actually probably not really agreeing with you anyway. You walk in as the mayor, again, they have no idea who you are, but they know what the chain means, and suddenly you're treated like royalty, and it really is, it's, it's such a privilege and such an honor. I will miss that, but I don't think it would be healthy to do that for much more than a year, to be honest. I think it could be too challenging for my ego. <laughs> 
my my old team, Angela and Valerie and Tim. I mean, they're truly fantastic. We've had some amazing drivers this year, both employed within the council and some of the external, because it's been a very, very busy year. And so that side of it, of course, was tremendous from our paid staff. But the unpaid people that actually ran my fundraising committee, Jill and John Struthers, they have been absolutely tireless. They've been stalwarts. I've had a whole range of people, of course, from Kishwan and from Live Unlimited on the committee and helping to steer us in the right direction. And people, as I describe them, they're doers, not thinkers. I'm not saying they don't think. They're very good at it. But they know the job on the committee is to actually get things done. Anybody can have an idea. But there's a relatively small number of people who will just say, right, put everything aside, my task is to get this done and to get it done to the best of my ability. And gosh, do they make that work. And I've just been so thrilled. The question you asked before, what will I miss this year? Working with that lovely group of people, but thankfully so many of them are friends. So hopefully once they've had a bit of a rest and and stopped seeing me as taking advantage of them, (laughs) I'll be able to show some more appreciation for all that they've done. I am the youngest ever Merit but I've still reached my 40th birthday and I had others who reached their 40th birthday and they thought a good idea would be to go and get a motorbike and start riding on the motorbikes and I'm not going to share any of the details of why I came to the conclusion that that wasn't such a good idea but I thought I know a much safer set of handlebars. Yes, it's a little time consuming but in my mind it's worth it and it does solicit the odd comment as yours so I don't mind that at all. Mm-hmm.